AFTV, DT, what can I say? I mean, we've thrown it away. You know what, after, I was just thinking about it when I was inside the ground. After they went to Dubai, they were in the driving seat. They had the easiest running out of all the teams left in the um, top four. And out of that, we've only won one game. I think the game at Watford, which they were down to 10 men, we drawn this game at home. We've beaten by Palace and lost all the other away games. It's a team there that does not deserve to be anywhere near the top four. And I also have to ask as well, have we, have we, have we improved? Have we actually improved from last year? We've improved in some areas, but there's too many bottle jobs in the team. There's too many players that are not good enough for this club, and we've said it all along. Uno Emery has to take a lot of the flack today for the substitutions. You can't make those substitutions. It completely and utterly threw everything. Mm. You know, and there's too many players there that are not good enough for this football club. Mm. You know, look at what people are saying. You can hear it. You know, what's Stan Kroenke actually doing? This summer, he's got to go and actually do something. But even by blaming Stan Kroenke, that, no, no, no. Re that record in the run. Yeah, 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 no, 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 that's the, fine, the, that's the, fine, the, that's fine. But this is the, poor. No, 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 the reason why we'll go back to Stan Kroenke, right, is because he never backed to Unai Emery in the summer mm. and gave him the appropriate funds to build from the very beginning. He basically said to him, you've got to go with the shit you've already got and try and make them better. Some of them, you can't coach them. I've seen better defensive lines in fucking junior football. Simple as that, Robbie. I'm sorry, but I've sat there and I've been positive so many times this season and I'm emotionally drained. This season's fucking drained the life out of me. And we've got to try and pick ourselves up and go again for a big game on Thursday. But do I have any confidence? No. None. We're going to fucking Barcelona and driving four hours or so to Valencia. It's the same all the time and until the weak mentality is rooted out of this club, we're going to be in this same position every season. It's as simple as that. What more do you want me to say about them? I walked out. I never gave them no lap of appreciation. Why should I appreciate that shit? Right? I feel a little bad that I didn't get to say goodbye to Aaron Ramsey. But that's principle. I had to walk out because that was not good enough. And it's not been good enough over the course of the season. So why should I stand there and applaud you? Why? When I go to away games and we get beaten and you walk off the pitch and don't come over and applaud us, that's exactly the same. It's all, exactly. It's all, it's, all on, it's all on Thursday now. It's all on that. That now all of a sudden is an absolutely huge game, a must-win game, or basically we would, we would have just finished exactly Robbie, the same as we did last season. Robbie, we've had must-win games for the last month. We went to Dubai to recharge our batteries. It looks like we left our batteries in Dubai. We went to Dubai and we're fully recharged. What happened to the players? Maybe they should have come out clubbing with us. They would have been all right then. But they literally came back and everyone looks flat. The players, the, there's certain players, you could tell they're looking at other players and they're thinking, you're shit. They won't ever admit it, but they are. Let's go through the team, right? We'll start off with the pass from Mkhitaryan. That's where the basis was for the equaliser. Not good enough. Granite Shaka. Why is he not shooting right. anyway? Well, listen, it was a simple pass. It was a fucking two yard pass, right? Mm. Granite Shaka, what are you doing? I've supported the guy all along, yeah? But it comes to a point now where I've got to look at it and say, we can get better than Granite Shaka. I'm sorry, mm. but I've supported him all along. So don't sit there and criticize me. We need better than Granite Shaka. If we're going to take that next level, we have to. I'm sorry, Robbie, but we're going to have to, man. And, we, you know, you look at um, Czechs leaving, Licksteiner's going anyway, Mustafi's not good enough. Um, what, Monreal in the bin as well. Too many players, not good enough. And I don't care if you sit there and say, we're getting rid of five, six, seven players, we've got to replace them. So? We're Arsenal. Why should we not be able to play, change five, six, seven players? If you're not good enough, get out. Sorry, but no. Why should we sit here every season repeating ourselves? How many times have I said to you, you may as well play a video from a year ago or a year before of me and nobody would know that it was today. The only way they would know is by the kit. Let me ask you one final thing. Have we improved this season? I told you there's a couple of points where we have improved. But the main thing where we've not improved, Robbie, is the mentality. The mentality is weak. There's too many players that... When something goes against them, they just curl up, go in their shells. You look at Liverpool, for example. 
There's a reason why they might win the title and they're where they are. I watched that game against Newcastle, yeah? They weren't playing great. They just had a tough week in Barcelona and everything else. And they could have gone into that with their heads down, just been slapped 3-0 and whatnot. And at 2-2 with five minutes to go, somebody pulled it out of the bag. And it was fucking Origi, of all people. But somebody pulled it out. That's what teams do when they're at that level. We're not at that level. Right now, we are a Europa League team. But we didn't move to the Emirates to be a Europa League team. So either the board back the manager, right, or fuck off. And we need to push the owners out of this club if they don't back us. That's what you need to remember. Because Unai Emery is going to keep going in a cycle. In a cycle. Over and over and over. Get rid of the odd player. Bring in the odd one. It's never going to work. It's just a never-ending cycle. So the board either back the manager properly, and then Unai Emery's got no place to turn to hide because he's been given it, or we're going to have to force him out. End of.